that the following contains infrequent discussion and depictions of blood, violence, and hate, and may not be suitable for younger audiences. Viewer discretion advised. Leaves is not suitable for younger Hi, audiences. Mom. I'm not going to make the virtual quiz tonight. Yes, I know it's your birthday and we do it every year. And I realise that it starts in a couple of seconds. Yes, yes, I'm an adult now and I make my own choices. And I shouldn't be petrified of telling my mum how I really feel. Don't be like, okay. Uncle Marcus, I didn't Hello. expect to hear from you. Hey, kid. Listen, I'm really sorry that I missed you at the family meeting last week. Work had this big case, and I, I tried to tell them that it was my last chance to see you. It's okay. It's okay. I understand. I know, but I, I really wanted to see you before you went back to LA. I've not seen you in so long. I'm sorry, too. Oh. More than you can possibly believe. What's up? Did something happen at the meeting? I mean, other than the we hate... Marcus Club shouting at you about how they could run the business better than you. Yeah. Something did happen, and that's why I needed to talk to you, Abby. I need your help. Yeah, of course. Anything. You know that. Um, what do you want me to do? I need you to investigate a murder. Oh, this is a... Uh, oh, no, that's a murder. Cal right? Inspector wish... Moss. Murder? Who's been killed? Me. Huh? <gasps> I, I don't, I don't understand. Oh I'm no. Poisoned. Abby, I'm dying. And it was someone at the family meeting. The family? No. <laughs> no. My doctors have confirmed it. It's the only possible time it could have happened. Someone who was at the family meeting poisoned me. I don't know who, and I don't know how. But oh. They did. But can't they treat Cheeky you? Cheeky they... they don't know what the poison was. They're working on it, but they can't start treating me until they know. Well, there must be something that they can do. Uh, I did a lot of hard living in the 80s, kiddo. My body ain't what it used to be. And if they were to treat me with the wrong thing, that could kill me. Sorry, kiddo. How... how long... How long have I got? They say it's hours. This can't be real. That's oh why I need your help, Abby. I need you to find out who did this tonight. Me? No, I... I can't. I mean... How? <laughs> the quiz. Everyone's gonna be there, Abby. You need to question them. Find out who in the family wants me dead. What if... what if they find out what I'm doing? What... what will they think? Abby, I'm dying. Who cares what they think? Let me ask you a question, kid. Okay. Why are you working in law? Because, because mom, the family, they decided that that's what I should do. Exactly. And if you weren't part of this fucked up family and you weren't still looking for their approval, what would you be doing? You know what? Yeah, I know what. I just want you to say it again to make sure you haven't forgotten. I want to design games. So you need to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> well, you didn't shake them off too well. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, phone's ringing. <sighs> Shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. I'm answering it. It's my mum. Come on, Abby. Ignore her, please. She knows how to leave a message. Oh, sorry. Hi, Mum. Any particular reason you're making me wait on my birthday? Sorry, Mum, I'm, I'm just She's getting a bitch. ready. I don't ask for much, Abby, but I do ask that you respect the family. Family is everything to me. As your grandfather, God rest his soul, used to say, there's me and there's you. And the family's the glue. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Well, I suggest you start that. Yes, ma'am. Hurry up. Wow, you're right. You really needed to answer that. Well, I should really oh, get to the quiz before mom kills me. That wasn't going to be a joke. I know. 
You can do this. I believe in you, Abby. You know them. You know what makes them tick, right? You do you have to wait ten minutes to chat. There you what go. I I'd had an issue with them. Um, betting my life on that not Because there's a, there's a Polish streamer okay. called Snacks, and I had a bunch Try. of Polish people. I'll be here. Come in and they kind of flooded well, the chat, so I, I put the restriction Remember, on. Abby. Anyway, thank you for following and welcome. Find the poison, find the proof. Find the killer. Sorting me. <coughs> my old man blanket on. There we go. I'm going to get cushions there. So I've been playing 10 minutes and I've made one I decision. I don't understand why there always has to be this big song and dance about Flick's birthday. This isn't just about me, June. It's about uh, us, the family, spending quality time together. And I'm sorry we don't do the same thing on your birthday. Not sure anyone really remembers when it is. Hi. Oh, Abby. Is that the yeah. big entrance you made us sit around for? Sorry, Mum. Right. At least all their audio is working. Here together. Is there something everyone would like to say to me, considering what day? Well, we're all here, aren't we? What more do you want? A bloody parade? Want me to pull some fireworks out of my asshole? I thought you'd be thanking Yes, do that. Do purpose. that. Where's the option for that? Drink? What's your reason every other day of the week? You girls are as bad as each other. <laughs> Put your camera down. Down. That better? Oh, you dumbass. Perfect, Mummy. I think. We should all sing, Mum, happy birthday. Oh, Lottie, don't be so crass. Happy birthday is so bloody depressing. I don't even like the phrase. Do you know what they say in the Basque region? Hmm. It is, Sorry, um... Missouri. Isn't that delightful? Very relatable. Ah, uh, can everyone hear me? Great. Now, listen, I actually think the birthdays are a really good time to do a little bit of a privilege audit, you know? Really take a look. And that's yeah, why they invented you the invented right. button. Okay. So, where's Bradley the bedroom boy? Bradley, Her Royal Highness Auntie Felicity requests your presence. So do you want to get your pallid features in front of a webcam? Oh, it's nice of you to dress up for the oh, occasion, there he is. Bradley. Oh, don't you want to wish your auntie Zoria Nagzuri? I don't know what that is. But, I mean, if this is about your birthday... If you I... say one syllable about birthdays just being a day closer to death, I will mute you like I muted your brother. Yeah, but that's what birthdays are, though. Signposts pointing towards the grave, you know? <sighs> Let's get on with the quiz before I mute you all. Hasn't anyone got something nice to say? <laughs> uh, happy birthday, Mum. What? Oh, Abby. <laughs> Completely forgotten you were there. Anyway, now, down she to the first bitch. order of business. Whose turn is it to ask the first round of questions? Well, fine. Well, we'll have to pick someone. Who hasn't done one recently? Me. Not you. Abby, come talk to me a second. Boy, they can't even pretend to like each other for five minutes, can they? I really don't think I could do this. Look, it's only asking questions. You know them. You just need to figure out how to get them talking. Right, and start simple. Just go back in there and see if you can figure out... I've made one choice first. so far. This is interactive. It's just like gathering one. evidence. Just one one choice. Shot. And that was inconsequential, okay. so... Look, I'm sorry, okay? This part of East Africa, it's amazing, but 4G isn't a strong point. But all I'm saying is I might cut in and out. Well, I'm not going first. It's my birthday. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave enough, Auntie June. But Mama, maybe because it's your birthday, that's why you should go first? No. Well, how about nobody goes first, and then we can all just fuck off to bed? Um. <sighs> speak to Lottie, there we go. Hi, babe. You okay? Yeah, uh, fine, thanks, babe. Did you murder him? So. 
Did you go to the meeting? What? The, uh, <laughs> the meeting? The one that was at Auntie Jean's house? Oh, the family business thing. Yeah, I went to that. Oh my God, so much drama. <laughs> really, what happened? <gasps> Mum is raging about it. Before you came on, she said she didn't want to talk about it. And then she went off on Uncle Marcus for like a solid five minutes. Honestly, if this quiz doesn't go smoothly, I think she's gonna actually have a meltdown. Like, she's so embarrassing when she's like that. I'm like, calm down, um, see, keep your wig on. Go on then, I'll, I'll let you decide. You can decide, I don't know. The meeting, okay. So why was mum so upset? What actually happened at the meeting? Oh, babe, too much. Oh, uh, to babe. Well, can you tell me what I missed? You know what? I think I'm just going to tell Mum I'm going to go first. If she has to wait any longer for this quiz to start, I think she might actually have like a genuine full-on breakdown. See you back in there, babe. Well, that was helpful. Well, that was something. God, that was really bad, wasn't it? Yeah, that wasn't so good. Maybe try something different next time, but that's okay. You learn from it. It was. Right? Come on. Hey, come on. The quiz is about to start. Oh, the quiz. Here we go. Here yes, we go. but Lottie, this is my birthday. Oh, you know, shut the up. For you. They're just about me. I want to play an actual quiz, Lottie. Not spend my evening blowing smoke up your arse. It'll be so good, I promise. I would. Okay, everyone pick your team, please. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking if you wanted to... Sorry, gonna have to speak up. Signal's breaking up. Do you want to team up with me? Still can't he's hear just, anything. He's just sat in his room, wobbling the camera. Do you want... Oh, Toby, just stop pricking about and team up with your brother. <sighs> Fine. Who's next? Teens? Yeah, I... Uh, I just need to go to the loo. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dad. What the hell is this quiz? Chaos. You play the whole thing in teams? Sort of. We pick a new team each round. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I can't remember how it started. Probably yeah, it's some not making any attempt sense at all, to make is things it? fair or avoid another fight. You know what they're like. I sure do, kid. I sh <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, I've been better. You better go pick a teammate. Okay. Who do you... No, I'm not starting with mummy. I'll be through this bottle before the first question. Well, you it getting is that very confusing. To do with but that's oh, pretty much. Pretty much what Zoom quizzes, isn't it? You like this? Why do you have to bring Daddy into everything? I mean, you're um, talking to us like no, she's a children. bitch. No, June she's useless. I want to play with the alcoholic lady. Okay, ready? Question one. Grime legend Capsi recently described my debut track as sick, but what is the track called? Oh, God. Or is that too easy? Uh, no, I think it's okay. Let's start easy and see how um, we go. Okay. Oh, I completely zoned out of that. What was the question? Uh, what is Lottie's song called? Uh, songs from a strangulated cat. Ballad of a teenage narcissist ho. I don't think she's a teenager. Actually, I do. Hello, Mr. 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 Gerald. It down our throats enough times. It's called vibing it. Mm. What does that even mean? Sounds like a massage chair or a sex toy. Um, who knows? Uh, yeah, I honestly don't know what it means. I think it is hipster yoga, nervous breakdown chick. Yeah. I don't want to debate it with you. Just answer the quiz. So, my first track is called Vibe In It. There must yeah. be one here because nobody got it wrong. <laughs> yes, yeah, nothing to do with the fact she's been torturing us with it for months. Question two. We're winning this the fake quiz. Tricky, but I'm sure you all know it. So, I recently designed a magazine shoot around my favourite book. What is it? Does Lottie read? Can Lottie read? She can't have got much further than The Very Hungry Caterpillar. That's 
Probably too advanced. Did she ever master the alphabet, or did she get arrested at I? Yeah, you mean, don't you? A lot. Just, just be nice. I think it might be The Hunger Games, or at least that's the only book that I know Lottie's definitely read. She was going to read the rest of them, but then the films came out, so... Yeah, it, she is, just, um, now. it is a Zoom call, so yeah. Hunger Games. We're trying to the find out who's poisoned the her Hunger uncle. Games. Oh, seriously, that book is so good. Like, once you've read The Hunger Games, why read anything else? I haven't. Uh, let me just think about question three. I wish you had been at the meeting, just to see the look on your face. What do you mean? Oh, didn't your precious Uncle Marcus tell you? What? He burnt his hand. Poor lamb. Well, I burnt his hand, accidentally, but I rather wish I'd thought of it. What, what happened? Well, I had a little stumble and I, I knocked one of my candles, which landed on Marcus, and straight away his jumper just woof, up in flames. Now, quality clothing does not burn like that so it just goes to show doesn't matter how much money that man makes he will never not be a cheap skate type i think anyway Tony we could i don't think we should probably drink too flames. much poison through his drink right in marcus's face nowhere near the flames so then your mother threw her drink on him as well which did put out the fire which is kind of a shame but marcus started wailing like a girl about his hand he was in agony, so Lottie ran in with a wet rag and started rubbing it all over his burns. It was hilarious. So then your nana got involved and started bandaging his hand, and then Bradley came in with some painkillers, and the fun was sort of so over. It could have been Bradley it's with the tablets. Sad. I don't know. You know, if she is a gossip me, woman. I'd have left him to it, but he did look like he'd been dragged through a hedge backwards. And forwards again. So, wait. Question three. Oh, no, he's dying. According to a recent poll from my fans, what is my greatest strength? Oh, right. Now, so this is the bit when she starts bragging about her singing voice, isn't it? Actually, I think Lottie might think greatest strength means something else. Like what? I think she means her eyebrows. <laughs> I mean, why are we even playing along with this? These aren't questions. She's just manipulating us into giving her praise and Okay then, well there's two of you, you can argue it out. What are we having? Eyebrows or singing voice? Eyebrows, eyebrows from, from Gerald, eyebrows. So that is unanimous I do eyebrows. I think she'll say her eyebrows. The answer is, obviously my eyebrows. Yay! <laughs> I was really surprised when my fans said that, you know, I was like, what about my legs or like my teeth or my eyes? And they were like, oh yeah, we love them all too, but like, it's really hard to pick a favorite. And I was like, yeah, they're, Sweet they're not the best sucky. eyebrows, are they? What the is she talking about? Okay, so question four, how many times has dad taken me to Dubai? Oh Christ, oh, God. that waste of Hello, bubbly. Honestly, you should Thank you for wearing a mask. For the hills. We don't want anyone infected. Couldn't see him for dust. Now it's one holiday a year and he thinks he's best daddy in the world. Still, I suppose most affair babies are just forgotten about, aren't they? So I should give him a tiny bit of credit for that. I bet you're bloody glad he's not your dad, aren't you? I guess so. Oh, come along, Abigail. It is very sad that your daddy died, but, but it's been years now. But I just had to get over it when my daddy died. No moping about for me. Okay. And do you know the answer to this or not? No. I can work it out. Can you now? Yeah, Lottie went to Dubai for the first time for her sixth birthday. Okay. I remember it because um, she was really scared, so I made her this lucky charm necklace to wear on the plane for good luck. Anyway, my point uh, is that if she first went to Dubai for her sixth birthday, she's been doing the same thing every year since. Lottie's now 19. She's never 19. Maths. 13. Put that down. Well, I was going to say 14. Yes, well, you're not exactly Carol Vorderman, are you? So just put the answer in. Come on then, maths wizards. Let's, let's work it out. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's going to be 14. I'm saying 14. Are you saying 14? Hold my fingers up. Can you say? No, you can't say. 14. 
I think 14. 14. Gerald. Ah, oh, it's unanimous. 14. There we go. I'm sorry, but the answer's definitely 14. What are you doing? So, the answer is 14 times. Oh, I love it so much. Oh, yeah. Well, I'd say well done, but I think we both know that was more luck than judgment. Right, that's all the questions I've got. Someone else can go now. Ooh. You know, questions. At least we got a few points that round. I don't know why I even do these things. I mean, I don't care. I about think he's gone, Bubbly. He's, he said like he had no hangover, so. Still, a few more of these, and it'll be wiped from my memory like tears in the rain. What's that from? Is it from the film? It's Blade Runner. Oh, Christ, it's not one of Lottie's lyrics, is it? God, I better forget that. It is better to forget things. It just makes life easier. Are you OK? You do know there's something wrong with your sister, don't you? What, no, what? Just in general? No, or? I'm just saying, she's behaving very oddly at the meeting. You know, all night, checking her phone up and down to the window. I, I, I don't know what she was looking for. Bubbly, mm. don't shout when you've got COVID. You'll down. infect up everyone. It's like your mother's skirt when she was a teenager. I mean, normally I wouldn't have noticed or, or cared. But they were my windows she was breathing all over. And Jeez. it would take Bradley a very long time to clean it. Is there anything else you remember about the meeting? Anything at all? No. Well... I am never teaming up with that... I'll press track the evidence. Anti-June. Okay, you can accuse... Lottie kept looking out of the window. Oh, is that all the evidence we've got? Wow. Freak again. This I'm is an interactive movie called uh, Who told Mom about your latest Uncle purchase? Marcus on Mute or something. He's been poisoned and we have to find out Mom, literally the very gun. We have to find out who who poisoned him before he dies. It's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun. Right. There's a difference. Oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you bickering anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Why do I do this? Because minimal effort. Speaking with your Auntie June is like trying to charm a rattlesnake. <laughs> but I think we got some useful stuff. I also have some new... Oh! Oh, oh dear. News. That could oh. really help us. He's going to poop. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's check out everything did. we have so far. Poison bubble, okay. Okay, polonium, that's thallium, yeah. And dithomical merkel. Lottie kept looking out of the window. And Michael. What's a nice man, yes. Okay. Is that it? Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do They don't pay me, no. Laser. You're I supposed to go, do as long as bits and cheers, and I get money from that. Oh, no. And subscriptions and things. That's, that's how I make Let's try no money from this. Order and civility back to proceeding, shall we? Dare I even say just, just a little class. <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. Don't worry, I'll make, I'll make all the money from the only fans, it's fine. One point to me. Hello, I mean Willow. True no, true, that's another one. I don't Two play points. good games. I'm, I'm not good Mozart, at good games. Bach, Chopin, actual geniuses. You don't care about geniuses. You only cared about Spandau Ballet and the saxophone players, tight trousers. Well, this may come as a shock to you, June, but some people's tastes mature with age. You're right, and you have. Aged. What are we playing? I shall perform a recognisable melody hello, and you hello. must simply tell me the name of the piece or to make it easier for the slow ones just tell me the name of the composer. So we're playing name that tune. Yes mother, if 
you like. Fancy being with me, June? There's nothing I'd like more than to repeatedly explain what's going on to a slightly senile old woman over a dodgy internet connection. I mean, it's one of my favourite things. Well, I might ask a few questions. Well, come along then. Let's get it over with. Nimini pimini, nimini pimini. Congrats, to ship. Yeah. She may well need that, yes. Okay, who are we playing with? Toby, Lottie. With Lottie is kept looking out the window, which was shocking. Um, Toby's a dickhead. I think Bradley, the goth one. No, he's in a jeep or something. You think Toby? Okay. Fruit says Bradley. I think Bradley. I don't know. Two votes for Bradley, one vote for Toby. Come on, someone make a deciding vote. Gerald, you're a dick. That doesn't really upset the apple cart either. That just slightly pushes the apple cart in a straight line. Okay. We're going Bradley. Yep. Bradley. There we go. Lottie hey Bradley, is Kirk how are you? Thank you, Willow. Uh, who's that on your T-shirt? You've never heard of Keith Wilson Keys before. Should I? Yeah, he killed six people in one weekend. Medford, Oregon, 1997. They called him the Beaver State Cleaver Killer. Yeah, yeah, you know? no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, him. He's a, he's a good one. I didn't realise that they put serial killers a on Beaver State No, Cleaver. no, no, he's, he's, not, he's not a serial killer. He's a spree killer, and uh, yeah, you can get a lot more than this if you know where to look. Everyone yeah, be quiet uh, and listen to the devil. To the first piece. La 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 la. Oh good la, god. La 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 la. Oh, I think la, I know this. I think it's Beethoven. La, 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 I mean, I guess Beethoven's a pretty la, safe bet because it's either going to be him or Mozart, right? La 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 la. <laughs> La 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 Okay, who is it Beethoven or what is Bradley th What does Bradley think? Shall we ask him? I think we'll ask him. Shall I go with Beethoven then? What do you think? Yeah, I mean I, I know Beethoven died in a thunderstorm and you can still visit his grave. So. Well that's helpful, isn't it? Well I'll just go for him then. That was a useful option there, wasn't it? Yes, a pretty straightforward one to start. That was the sumptuous Furalese by the magnificent Beethoven. Piece number two. La 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 Sorry about your headache, Bubbly. We're all suffering now. Mum really got into that one, didn't she? Yeah, she did. Ten pounds. Do you know it? Uh, I don't know the name, but it sounds like one of the ones in Mum played the ten, other ten, night. Ten pound. Why do people listen to happy music when they're not even happy? It just makes you feel worse. Let's um, you know? let's be nosy. Did you mean uh, Mum played this at the meeting? I think so. I'm not feeling really allowed at ten pounds. <gasps> Anonymous. Hey, Abby, what are you doing? You got to get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby. Uh. You muted me and I wasn't even saying anything. What were you looking at? Ten pounds. I'm fine. Oh, no, no, it about? was a decent. It was month. It was fine. Yeah. Not, not too expensive. No, wait. You were uh, saying that Mum played this song at the meeting. I mean, how, uh, how yeah. was the meeting? Yeah, that that many money. Really angry. Um, we lost. He was acting strange too. Shush, I'm getting my money's worth. Phones. Shush. One of them looked at me like a oh. phone. Do you know what that is? I think so. It's private. It's untraceable. Handy if you're trying to get hold of someone or something that you don't want anyone else to know about. And I never thought Lottie would choose something like that. And it's not the kind of phone that oh. takes photos. Oh, evidence. Lottie kept looking out the window and had two phones. So I'll pound up against Lottie. Maybe someone gave it to her. Um, 
You want to ask more? Okay. Did you see anything else? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah. This next piece is so obvious, I considered not doing it. But for some reason, it's been going round in my head. Perhaps this will get it out of my system. La, 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 la. Oh, I can never remember the name. Funeral March. It's Funeral March by Chopin. I might play it again. We might get Dale involved. All right. Force yeah. him to play it. It's a, it's a good there one. might be multiple endings. We might play it eight times. <laughs> that piece was the incredibly moving Funeral March by Chopin. I already know what I'm doing for my fourth piece, so be quiet. No. Next time you want to buy a... Uh, no, no. The humidity's changed. I can't see in this. I could sprain something. Let's move on to the next round. I was surprised you weren't at the meeting, aren't you? Uncle Marcus's biggest cheerleader. Uh, yeah, no, I, I really wanted to be there. It was game. just, there was this thing at work and... You should have been there. He needed you. What are you saying? Everybody else hates him. The whole family, apart from you. I mean, my mum spends most of her time thinking about how much she hates him. So after too many drinks, she starts rambling about him, talking about how he's ruined Grandad's legacy, how a company should have come to her, or your mum. Evidence, mom. evidence. At once, when it was really bad, she asked me if I knew how to hire a hitman. She thought maybe I'd know something from the black internet. <laughs> she meant dark web, obviously. I asked her why she wanted to know, and she just said she saw it in a film once. And, uh, yeah, it was the last time she mentioned it, at least to me. Bradley? Do you know something? I don't know. Maybe. Bradley, what? Oh, shit. oh, he's gone. Oh. <sighs> Evidence. What have we got? Auntie June asked Bradley where she could hire her. That's the alcoholic one, isn't she? Yeah, okay. She had two phones. Okay, next. Fabulous birthday so far, Flick. Do you think we're actually going to finish a single round this evening? Uncomfortable silence. My favourite. Right. Go on, you go and you go and enjoy your lack of taste. If you value your life, stop asking questions. Hey, Abby. Jesus Christ! What the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email. Anonymous, they no, told me to Abby. stop or, or, oh my god, I, I can't do this. I'm afraid it is too late for that. No, I can't, I told you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they going to do to me? Abby, stop! <laughs> stop! Well, Uncle Marcus? <laughs> are you okay? I shouldn't have covered with this. No, you Getting wouldn't. Getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. Don't give up on me. You're the only chance I got. Please, Abby. Please. I'm not doing the ads on purpose. Okay. Do I need to pause? That's Twitch doing that. Sorry. Oh, 100% uncovered. That's good. Tell me when the ads are done and I'll... I'll press my continue button. Ugh, it's not that shitty game. I've, I've got shitter games. Okay. Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my round now. But listen, I've got a pretty it wasn't a very cool big conversation. On how to... Everyone get in teams. Right, yeah, 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 sure, cool. Yeah, let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck up. Do you, you ever speak to my daughter like that again? Oh, and I'll... Flick, I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop. I'll, like, team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. Oh, God, you're a prick. Hey, Auntie Felicity, look, just give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, 
The only way you can make my life better is if you never speak to me ever oh, again. Oh, shush, bubbly. I've paid more for worse. Um, who are we playing with? Um, alcoholic lady, dizzy old bitch, or mean bitch? Nan? I think Nan too. I don't want to suffer, Mum, though. <sighs> Bye, Bubbly. Have a good snooze. Okay, Nan, good. Oh, thank goodness. I've got a clever one on my team. You're the clever one, Nan. Don't be daft. <laughs> okay, everyone concentrating, yeah? Nope. This is... It's a little bit different to your typical quiz round. I like to call these empathy exercises. Oh, God. Now, I'll give you a scenario. Come on, let's poison you everyone. Have to relate to that scenario with empathy. Huh? Sounds simple, right? Well, I don't know what he's on about. Great, let's go. Now, imagine you're very poor. Yep, I am. I've just paid £10 old. for this. And you're getting up before sunrise. I'm 12 years old, yeah. Walk. Eight miles to get to school. What's going on? Who's get a walking bus. to school? And, and how far did he say? Eight miles? Well, we explain why don't they it? just catch oh, the bus? The school must run one. Um, just chat to her because we're not going to get anywhere with explaining, are we? I've got no idea what he's doing. Sounds like he's going into a bit of a lecture. He loves a sermon, our Toby. <laughs> now, this little boy's feet are bleeding, swollen to the... the... Um, but I, I can't hear a word he's saying. What's up, dog? Yep, I hated him. You'll have to teach me how to do that. I think it could come in very handy. I'm, I'm sorry that I, I haven't oh. been around to see you in a while. Oh, don't worry, love. I get There's your reference, Gerald, yeah. Well, when she can Shut up, dog. To check up on you. I was hoping I might see you at the meeting, but I think you made the right choice keeping away. Sounds like I did. Awful it was, love. I don't know how much you've already heard, but there was trouble all over the shop. Even Toby, Mr. Peace and Love, he lost it. I was getting myself a drink. Oh, Toby lost it. And he burst in, in a world of his own, furious with your Uncle Marcus, saying something about how he'd left him no choice. What does oh. that mean? He wouldn't tell me. Do you think we should switch him Dog, back on bed. before he notices? <laughs> Probably. Evidence. What we got? Marcus left Toby no choice. They're all sus because it's a murder mystery and that's... Kidnapped. That's how it works. It's not... It's Can not Columbo. What a load of nonsense. Abby, Nan, are you concentrating? I haven't had a single response from you yet. What do I say, love? Sh shall I just do a, a thumbs up? Will that help? Um, let's discuss the question. We're just discussing the kidnapped boy. OK, what are your thoughts? Nan was saying that it's an incredibly sad situation, but there are so many factors at play, you know, uh, political instability and um, extreme poverty. Wait, Nan said that? Yes. Nan? Yeah. Said that? She did. I mean, maybe not in those exact words. Do you think this is funny, Abby? Huh? Is that no, what everyone else thinks really too? No, really not. Huh? You all think it's that not, this is not a joke? Funny. What do the others say, love? Probably. The one yes. where the woman no, died of a know, plague. No, that was a funnier one. Waste of time on this family. No emotional intelligence. You all missed that. That was all. that was one I played with Dale. All be ashamed. Then well, they released the unedited thing on D on DVD no, for three quid. No, that's not fair. I want to do a round. Uh. No, but it's my turn. No. Listen, love. Oh, good. Before I go, there, okay. there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. Go on, then. Has your mother spoken to you about your uncle Marcus lately? No. Ooh. Why? The, the day of the meeting. It, it, your mother asked us all to get to the house early, before your Uncle Marcus got there. She told us... How did she put it? She wanted him out of the way. <gasps> she was asking us all there to see if we'd support her in a move to take over the company, to take it off Marcus. Your mum <gasps> wants to buy him out, but she can't meet his price. 
but I think Evidence. he's asking for too much just to annoy her. And obviously the company means a lot to him because of his dad. I, I know you try to stay out of all this financial stuff, but the company is for all of us, love. That's how your grandfather wanted it. I know. I think we best get back for the next round. Yeah. Nan, wait a second. I, I need to tell you something. I Mum wants to kill the business. I knew there was something wrong. What on earth is it? Something really bad has happened to Uncle Marcus. Bad? Well, what do you mean? Someone's hurt him. Someone's oh, Abby, tried love. To... He's not going on about that again, is he? About what? That bloke he said was threatening him. What? Well, oh. it was a few years ago now. Marcus had a bit of trouble with an old business partner. Marcus thought he was trying to kill him. What? Got in a right state over it. Said the bloke was threatening him, sending him violent emails. Well, because the emails were anonymous, so any bloody one could have been sending them. Apparently, he didn't leave his house for months. He was absolutely convinced someone was trying to kill him. Well, nothing happened, of course. If you ask me, he made the whole thing up. He has got a very active imagination, after all. I can't believe he never told you. You're very close, yeah. aren't you? Yeah. I wonder why he kept it from you. Because it probably would Nothing. have solved the mystery ages no, ago. I'm fine, honestly. Thank, thank you for telling me. Are you going to be all right, love? No. Yeah, I'm fine. Right, then. See you for the next round. OK, bye. Oh, she needs a poo. Kid, we need to talk. Abby, please, please. Okay. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed okay. to know he wasn't going to follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Abby? It just doesn't make any sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's tried to kill you, and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying! <laughs> oh, Look. he's not doing well. Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Is that what you want, Abby? No, Just I want know to this. know the whole story. Then I can I'm the not only play it again. person in this family that Why would, would he never cough into his guns? Because uh, he's not very good at. Uh, I'm going to trust him. Can I trust him? Do you agree I should trust him? I think I should trust him. Look at him. How could you not trust that face? He looks like he's just halfway through a really good blowjob, but... Okay, trust him. I, I believe you. Yeah. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. So, I think some of the stuff that Nan said um, helps us. You okay? You hear that? Hear what? The rats, they're running all over my floor. Oh, no. I can't hear anything. Fucking worms. Ah! What? They're crawling down my neck, Abby. Uh, I, I can't see anything. What? There's nothing there. Are you sure? Yeah. The hallucinations have started then. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. 
Oh good. Will that end the game then? Okay. I better get back in there then. Wait. I'm sorry. I don't think I'm gonna be able to help you much longer. <coughs> Oh, come on. Oh, dear. What is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. I think he's pretty much definitely going to die. Unless there's not, there hasn't been anything. We've only had like five different options, so. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I am telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? She's had a cellarful. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. You are going to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. I'm delighted. Okay. Who are we playing with? Who did we talk about? Oh, can we try Toby? I think I'm going to try Toby. I mean, he's an absolute dick, but... Toby it is. Hi, Toby. What was that? Uh, me? No, I thought I heard something outside the van. Yeah, it's probably a special effect, a monkey or something, I don't know. Sound effect. I think we're okay. You can't be too careful with these militias. No, of course not. Okay, everybody, respectfully shut up and listen to me. Question oh dear, one. He's dying. How many times did Toby tell the school counsellor that I was neglecting? Oh him God, here we so go. So that we'd be forced into another family therapy session and he could get to see his dickhead father. I know this sounds bad, but I only had the idea after she actually neglected me. I told the counsellor that Mum forgot to cook me tea because she was so drunk, which was the truth. And he organised the first session. I mean, if she'd just let me see Dad in the first hmm. place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest. Ask about the meeting. What happened to Uncle Marcus at the meeting? Just tell me everything. Why are you asking me? Ask your sister. She was the only one I saw alone with him, okay? She was putting something in his hand. I don't know what, but he looked pretty uncomfortable. So, for Ooh. those of you that ventured to answer, the correct... <gasps> Lottie handed Marcus something. Answer. It's too obviously it's here, isn't it? It's not times. very here. All because I wouldn't let him see the man who cheated on me who cheated on us for seven years. She's really gone over the edge. Question two. I'm sure How you many all those doilies. of my boyfriends has Felicity stolen? Now, I'm going to make it easier for you. Let's just count the ones while we were <laughs> at school. Jesus! Our mums are a nightmare, aren't they, Abs? I mean, that's why I'm so glad I had my dad. You know, he helped balance me out. He gave me my moral compass. Wasn't he? done for tax fraud. Everyone makes mistakes, Abby. Dad was always there for me when I the really cash. needed him. Mm. You know, apart from the 18 months, the cash. of course. But he was better than a lot of dads I can think Whoopsie. of. Well, some of you clearly think very highly of Flick and rather less of me. Well, let me tell you. I had oodles of boyfriends. Felicity was just scavenging my scraps, but there were plenty of scraps to scavenge. You got to think. Bigger. Okay. Um, go on then. I don't know. More info or what he means. I think what he means. Yeah, he does. 
Okay, and then which do we choose? They're both pretty much the same question. Hmm. I think what he means to info. Okay. Hmm. Info. Did you see anyone else give something to Uncle Marcus? I don't know. Toby, tell me now. Uh, ah, 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 Felicity. I mean, you know, your mum. Yeah, she was um, offering things uh, for him to eat. You know, hors d'oeuvres, canapes, that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, I think, he, I think he took one in the end just to shut her up. Hey, Abby, I need you. What is okay. it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. I need you to pick one. It's okay, Abby. Whatever happens, happens. Just texting. Ooh. Please. Um. I don't know. Anyone? Anyone an expert on on poisons? Why do you say? Do you is that a guess? <sighs> okay. Maybe. The mercury make you see things there. Should we, I don't know, do we Google? If it has mercury poison, more mercury won't help. <sighs> okay, thallium it is. It's thallium. If you say so, kid. <sighs> Chin chin. No. No. Oh, shit. Uncle Marcus. <laughs> Oh. Oh dear. Oh. Oh. It's a bit better. Bit. Oh. You hear that? You hear that? The sound of my vital sense improving. He did it. He did it. He saved me. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Okay. Now, Abby. Now, why don't you go and finish this thing? I, I can do this. Yay. We got a trophy. Okay. Abby, where have you been? Oh, she's doing it for attention. Be quiet, June. Soluble thallium salts are okay handsome. You're going to have to speak up, Abs. There's some pretty heavy rain hmm. here. Is she frozen? No, if you look closely at her throat there, you can see she's still breathing. Ah, uh, this, this is life. Shut up. What was that? Just shut up, all of you! Abby, if I were you, I'd think very... Oh, God. Um,
Mum gave the food to him and wants to take over the business. She had two phones, handed him something and kept looking out the window. Mum or Lottie? What do you reckon? She didn't have a motive. She had a motive. Let's give it a guess. Come on. Come on, Columbo's. Quincy's. I would say, Mum. Yeah. Don't or... It's one or the other. You can't. You can't say. Oh, yeah. It's not Toby. <laughs> we can't choose Toby. Yes, thanks for yeah. That's we're choosing the mother. Screw it. Delusions. No one expects that. Yes to kill Uncle Marcus. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you poisoning Uncle Marcus. I know it was you. Oh, Abby. I always hoped this wouldn't happen to you. Your father was like this towards the end. Seeing things, imagining things. I always hoped he hadn't passed it on to you or that the, the medication was making it worse, but you're just like him. No, this is real. And you tried to kill Uncle Marcus. Why? Why would I kill the man? For the money? For the business? Risking everything I have, my entire business and career that I've built up over 30 years for some garden centres and a few spas? Do you really think that little of me, Abby? I... You really don't know me at all, do you? You really didn't do it. Heaven knows why you've concocted this strange little fantasy. Look, I'm sorry, Abby, but whatever's going on here, I can't be part of it. What? I promised myself, when your father became unwell, that if anything like that ever happened to you, I couldn't put myself through that again. And I'm not going to break that promise. It's time I started putting myself first. <laughs> I hope you can find the help yeah, you need, Abby. Yeah, I think she did, but... Oh, and if you ever do get better, feel free to give me a call. You're probably better to text first, though. <laughs> what the hell? So was were we wrong? <sighs> I think we were wrong. Oh. Okay, I think we'll might have to play again. You all about tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've got enough evidence then, did we? Do, 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 do. So... Notice, start a new game will keep all the evidence you've found so far. Oh good, so when we play again, we'll already know things. It wasn't Mum. Okay, well that's it for now, we've done an hour. Thank you for playing everybody, even though you all clearly hated it every single second. We'll, um, I might play this again tomorrow, just to please Gerald. So, nine times to everyone, thank you for the follow fruit, and thank you for the help. And, um, and thank you for accusing that woman of murder, even though she clearly didn't do it, even though she deserved it because she was a bitch. Right. Bye bye everybody. Bye bye.